and gentlemen, I must ask you for silence. They loved you, Master. You did well, too, Popolo. Huh? Huh? Popolo. Pony Maria makes me work as hard as this. Ugh. Bernard is never here when you need him. I'll bet he's over at the circus. Does he run away a lot? Yeah, thanks for bringing him back, Bernard. Hey, Bernard, come on, it's time to go. Okay, Diego, I'm coming. Bye. Thanks again, Bernard. Who's that boy you were talking to? His name is Popolo. He works at the circus. I caught a runaway lion cub, and when I took it back, we became friends. Really? The grocer was telling me that the circus has been doing really good business since it came to town. Everyone says it's the best circus in the world, Diego. Well, now, that's some claim. <laughs> I hear business is going well. Yes. You must be making a fortune, Black. It's all thanks to you, Commander Raymond. If you hadn't given your permission to put up the big top in town, then it wouldn't have been possible. And in return, you will carry out the little favor I asked of you, I trust? Of course. It would give me great pleasure to take care of that villain, Zaro. Leave it to me. Hmm, Lieutenant? Sir, at this evening's performance, I have made sure that there will be a girl in the audience who is special to Zaro, and she will be the bait we use to catch him. I understand. It seems wherever this girl is, Zaro is never far away. When he shows up, you will then use your mysterious powers. Here it is. You say Gabriel gave you this ticket to the circus. Why should he do that? I don't like the sound of this, Lolita. I really don't think you should be going alone. Oh, don't worry, Diego. I can take care of myself. Besides, just because Gabriel gave me a circus ticket doesn't mean that I'm going to run off with him. That's not what I meant. Anyway, I have another two tickets, so you and Bernard can come with me if you want to. I'd love to. Oh. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Yo, eh, the tickets are fine, Lolita. Oh, well, that's lucky. Hey, Diego, what's going on? Don't ask. Popolo, these are my best friends, Lolita and Diego, who for some strange reason is taking a bath. This is my new friend, Popolo, from the Black Circus. It's very nice to meet you both. Nice to meet you, Popolo. Huh? You must be very happy working in the circus, Popolo. It must be very exciting for you. Perhaps you should run off and join the circus, Diego. I don't think so. What do you do at the circus, Popolo? I take part in the master's knife-throwing act. He throws knives at me using his mysterious pendant. Yeah! Wow! Don't you ever get scared, Popolo? No, never! The master never makes mistakes! How about your father? He's in the circus too, isn't he? Well, that's nice for you. What does he do, Popolo? My father is a clown. Oh, I love clowns. They're my favorite. Yeah, me too, Lolita. What a wonderful job making people laugh. It's not a wonderful job, Diego. What? what? People laugh at him because he acts like a fool. I don't like it. But Popolo, being able to make people laugh is a wonderful gift to have. I'm sure he'd rather hear people laughing at him than just applauding politely. Every clown loves to get laughs, don't they? You're wrong, Diego. It's much more important to command the crowd's respect like my master does. Huh? huh? I have to get back to the circus now, Bernard. Goodbye. Popolo! What? I was just wondering, if you weren't doing anything after the show tonight, perhaps you and your father would like to come over to my house for supper. With my father? Never! That's not a very good attitude to have towards your father, Popolo. Well, I don't care! 
Oh, please bring him. Our cook Maria prepares excellent food, Popolo. You told me that the meals over at the circus weren't very nice. So now's your chance to eat well. Come on, what do you say? Bernard is right, Popolo. Maria cooks better meals than most of the chefs in the town restaurants. If I'd been invited to eat her food, I'd be there in a flash. Lolita, you must come to supper too. Why, oh, thank you, Diego. Well, if I'm gonna be there, Popolo, I insist you and your father join us. Well, what do you say? Okay, we'll come. So, Popolo, this master of yours, Mr. Black, is a good man, huh? Yeah, he certainly is. He's fantastic. And when I grow up, I want to be just like him. Could I have some more potatoes, please, Maria? I'd like some more, too. They're delicious. Ah, of course! Hey! Huh? That's your fourth helping. Really? Well, I'm sorry. It's just that they really are so nice. <laughs> please feel free to eat as much as you want, Thomas. Yes, you must. It makes a change to see someone with such a healthy appetite. They can't be feeding you very well at the circus. Lolita has a healthy appetite, too. That's her second helping. I've noticed. <laughs> oh, it's only because I'm hungry, Bernard. I don't usually eat this much. Don't take any notice, Lolita. Thank mm. you, Maria. This is for you, Thomas. Oh. 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 Don't worry, Maria. I won't waste your lovely potatoes. Oh, would you look at that? Hey! Hey, hey. hey Jose, come and look at this. What is it, Martin? Look at that funny guy. Isn't he good? <laughs> huh? Hey, what's the matter with you? Thomas! Huh? Huh? Oh, Jose, it's you. Ah, uh, at last. Oh, oh, dear. Stop that, Jose. Uh, you low down, dirty, rotten, pretty little. Jose, me go. what's the matter with you? Are you crazy? Thomas is a guest in this my house. My friends in my home village were arrested by the army because of your guest. I'm still a wanted man, then. It's his fault. Uh, huh? What? Huh? What are you talking about? I will tell you what happened. It was exactly ten years ago. Because of the heavy taxes imposed by the army, our village had to become poverty stricken. In order to live, many people were forced to sell valuable land that had been in their families for generations. It was a terrible time. The young men of the village decided that enough was enough. If we were to survive, we would have to fight back against the army. We needed someone to lead the attack, and Thomas here was chosen for the job. He was an expert archer and an obvious choice. And on the day of our planned counterattack, we waited for him, but Thomas never showed up. We can't wait any longer. Thomas isn't coming, is he? He's let us down. We'll have to do it without him. Hmm. As soon as we stepped out of the hut, <laughs> we were surrounded by soldiers. There was no escape. He betrayed his friends to the army. Huh? Father, how could you do that? Jose, I never turned you in. Then why didn't you come to the hut that day? It's because... Don't deny it, Thomas. You ran away from the village the same day. You must be guilty. You betrayed us. How could you do such a thing to your own people? I can't believe it! My own father! <gasps> I hate you! I hate you! Pablo, come back! <laughs> I must go now, Diego. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm really sorry that the evening ended the way it did, Thomas. It was my intention to bring you and Popolo closer together, not drive you further apart. I should be apologizing to you, Diego, for bringing disgrace into your household. Thank you again for a lovely meal. Good night. Wait. Yes, Diego? I don't believe Jose's story, but I don't believe you told us the truth. If you tell me what really happened that day, Thomas, I might be able to help you. How about it for Popolo's sake? He's not my father. He's a coward. I was going to the hut that day, but as I was traveling through the woods, I made an incredible discovery. I remember I was late and I was running when I heard something in the bushes that stopped me dead in my tracks. I looked down and there I saw a basket with a small baby in it. I picked the child up and immediately knew it was unwell. It had a very high temperature, and I knew that if it wasn't seen by a doctor, and quickly, it could die. 
But I was late and didn't want to let my friends down, so I put the baby back and ran. Then stopped. I couldn't leave the baby there to die. So I ran back and picked up the baby. I had to save its life. I took him back to the village and left him with the doctor. I ran to the hut as quickly as possible, but I was too late. The soldiers had discovered our plot and arrested all my friends. And the baby you found in the woods that day is Popolo? Yeah, little Popolo. He doesn't know that I'm not his real father. Oh, I hate him! I hate him! I cannot tell Jose what really happened that day because Popolo's too young to know the truth. When he's older, I'll tell him. Maybe he'll understand then, huh? I understand. And I became a clown and tried to hide my tears behind laughter. <laughs> Don't worry. One day, Jose will know the truth. I really hope so. Goodbye. Wonderful! Wow. He's very brave, don't you think, Diego? He sure is. I don't think I'd like to do that. <laughs> hmm. That's enough. Off you go. Yes, sir. For my next trick, I require a volunteer from the audience. You, young lady, would you care to assist me with a little magic? Uh, me? Is it me you're pointing at, sir? Well, what do you think I should do, Diego? Go ahead and enjoy yourself. Okay. Yay! Thank you for volunteering, young lady. And what is your name? My name is Lolita. Now, Lolita, that's a lovely name. I want you to stare at my magic pendant. All right. I want you to concentrate on the lovely colors. Concentrate. And now... What's going on? Don't know. Huh? Ah! Oh, wow. Where is she gone, Diego? And now she will reappear. Let's give her a big round of applause. And that concludes this evening's circus show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you and good night. The leader is missing? I don't understand. Well, Mr. Black told us she said goodbye to him after the show, but she isn't at home. We haven't seen her since she took part in that magic act, and now we've come to look for her. I was wondering if we could have a look around inside the big top. Would that be okay, Popolo? Mm-mm. No one is allowed backstage because of all the magic tricks and wild animals that are there. It's a strict rule. Then perhaps you can pretend that you haven't seen us, Popolo. It's important we take a look around. Huh? You can't! Lolita is depending on us, Popolo! Okay, but I haven't seen you! Hey, thanks a lot, Popolo! You're a real friend! <laughs> You two guys stay here and keep a lookout while I check out the big top, okay? Right! Hey, Boris, keep your noise down. I'll see you later. Come on, deal the cards. Ha! <laughs> And what are you doing sneaking around here? I'm just looking for a friend of mine, actually. She's the girl who helped you in your magic act tonight. I can't find her, you see, and I wondered if she was still here someplace. I can assure you she isn't here. Now please leave. What's the problem? Huh? Oh, Diego. Lieutenant Gabriel? You know this boy. He is the son of Vega, who has a grudge against the army. I see. Well, I'm afraid, young man, that you're not welcome here. Whoa! I'm sorry, Diego. I'm just following orders. You understand, huh? Why are Gabriel and his men here? Did you find Lolita? No, I did not, Bernard, but I got a funny feeling that she's in there somewhere. Oh, really? 
Oh, there you are, Popolo. I was just wondering if we should have supper on our own tonight. What do you say to that? I'm not hungry. Anyway, I'm going to do some knife-throwing practice. What? Oh. Hey, Popolo, where are you going? I'm going into the ring. You obviously haven't heard the news. The master's made it known that he wants us all to stay in our rooms tonight. Why do we have to do that? I don't know, but he makes the rules run here. He sure does. I wonder what all those soldiers are doing here. Well, gentlemen, everything is quite ready for you. You've done well. Tonight we will capture that villain Zaro and then unmask him. He will be finished. <laughs> what is my master up to? Huh? <laughs> Popolo! Come down at once, boy, do you hear me? You heard him screaming? It was him at noise voice anywhere, Thomas. It's no good, you can't get in there. The entrance is guarded by soldiers. I must go to him! Oh, Thomas, no! Ow! You must forget what you have seen here tonight, Popolo. Why are you keeping the leader a prisoner here, Master? Mind your own business! Please stop! Thomas! What are you doing? Ah! Please, Master, don't hurt him. Huh? What's the meaning of this, Thomas? Whatever it is that Popolo has done wrong, I beg you to forgive him, Master Black. Huh? Miss Lolita, why have you got Miss Lolita tied up like that? Shut up. Oh! It is most unfortunate that they know we are mixed up in this. You must deal with them, Mr. Black. Yes, sir. You are a fool, Thomas. I don't understand why you came to his aid. He's not even your real son. What? That's right. Hasn't he told you? Stop! Please, Master, don't tell him, please. You have no right. It's up to... Oh. Oh. Listen to me. He found you in the woods when you were a baby, and then he adopted you. Ah! You filthy swine! Ah! Ah! You might as well hear the rest of it. You remember 10 years ago when your friends were captured by the army? Well, it was I who discovered your little plot and put an end to it. And all this time you thought it was your fault, you fool. <laughs> I hypnotized one of your gang and he confessed it all. The army paid me handsomely. <laughs> so it was you who betrayed us, huh? Indeed it was, and now that you know the truth, I'm afraid that you must die. <laughs> who fired that shot? Gonzalez! Zaro! Now we have him. They couldn't resist the bait. So you are Zaro. I heard your confession, Black. You tried to break the bond between a father and his son. That is unforgivable, and you will be punished for it. And you too have betrayed your positions by helping to kidnap an innocent young girl. You too will be punished. Lieutenant, do something. Yes, sir. Leave him to me. Don't look at the pendant or you'll be hypnotized. Thanks. Ah! Look into the pendant and the pain will disappear, Zaro. Never! Never! Ah! Ah! Look at it, Zaro. Ah! Ah! Miss. Must act quickly. Hang on, Lolita! Now I have you, Zaro. Zaro! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Black's magic is working. Zaro's true identity. Black, you can have the honor of removing his mask. My pleasure. Huh? What? 
Thomas, you'll live to regret that. Now. Ha! Oh, he's got the pendant. This is what I think of your pendant. Without your pendant to protect you, you're just another cheap crook, Black. Hiya! Uh, oh! Oh, Zaro, help me! I'll see to it that these villains don't hurt you anymore, Lolita. Oh! Curse you, Zaro! Run, it! Let's go, Pablo. Untime me, Zaro. No, stop complaining, or I might just let the lions out to stretch their legs. Hey, Zaro, I'll get you. I'm so sorry for accusing you wrongly, Thomas. Please forgive me. Of course, Jose. I'm so glad you know the truth now. Yeah. Papalo! Yes, Father? Oh, Papalo, come here! Oh, thank you for finding me in the woods and looking after me. You'll oh. always be my dad. I love you. I love you too, Pablo, my son. <laughs>